What's up guys? Sydney here. So, I'm a little late with this video. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me about it, and I'm finally getting around to it. Sorry for my procrastination, and sorry for looking like a hot mess, because I just got finished washing my boat. So this video is going to be a run-through of my boat, a little bit about it, all that good stuff. So this here is a 2013 Piranha Skiff. It has a 50 uh, Evinrude E-Tech on it, 14 foot. We've got the Minn Kota Riptide mounted on the front. And if you're wondering why the Minn Kota is mounted here and not on the very front of the boat, it's because we've got the nav lights right here in the way. We've got the little anchor clip. But, as you can see, my dad had these shark eye lights put in because we thought maybe we were going to be able to take this out and mount the trolling motor up here, but it didn't work out that way. So when I have to run the uh, nav lights, I use these because they're awesome. <laughs> but right here in the first little console, that's where the trolling motor battery is. This front hatch is a live well, but I mostly use it for storage. I have all my stuff over there drying out because it gets kind of wet in there when I wash it. Let's get in, show you all the inside. Whoa. Alrighty, so I do have a seat that buttons on right there. Let me turn the screen on real quick. There we go. Alright, so here is the center console. We've got the I command right here, which tells me how much fuel I have. It tells me uh, how much mileage I'm getting, how many miles are on the motor, all types of stuff. Then I've got the Low Rance Elite 5 Chirp mounted in. That's the uh, depth finder and GPS system I had on my Hobie, but I mean, when I sold the Hobie, why not transfer the, the cool system over to the cool boat? Because <laughs> a, uh, a Garmin something came with the boat, but it was like old and it didn't do as much as this, so I figured let's switch it over. The battery for the whole entire boat right is right here. Fire extinguisher, that little connector for the iPad. I'm sorry, iPod, your phone, whatever. I don't ever use that because as you can see, it's kind of corroded. So I'm kind of nervous to plug something to that. Got the radio, which sounds awesome. Off and on switch. So we'll turn it on so you guys can see. Turn the accessory, accessory button on. Aerator, billage, nav lights, radio. Turn that down real quick so you guys can see the Elite 5 chirp. Turn this on. If you guys are in the market for a depth finder GPS, I definitely recommend this Elite 5 chirp. It's easy to use. It's good for a, you know, first depth finder. I know there's crazy ones that cost up to like two grand, but if you just want a starter for like a little boat like this, your kayak, this is the one to go. You can add your little cards for your maps, all types of stuff. All right, enter. There's that, and then it has the down and side imaging. Which, it's not, I don't think it'll work since we're not in the water. Oh, yep. Doesn't show anything, but... You know the gift. You can add waypoints. All types of stuff. Turn that off. Power off. Alright, then of course... Of course, Taylor Swift would be on right now. 
<laughs> but the radio is awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I don't know what I stepped in that was so dirty, but I'm obviously going to have to rewash this. But we've got the two speakers right here, one right here, one right here. We've got another live well back here, and this is the one I mainly use as the live well. So we got the plug, this part, lets the water run in. Back here, where you can see inside the boat, got the bilge pump. 850 Evinrude, which is awesome. I love this motor, it cranks up on a dime. I cannot believe I just got dirt all in this boat. Oops. Spanky. So that's pretty much it, guys. This boat's really simple. I love it. Um, it gets the job done. I'm hoping to uh, get a lot of uh, saltwater fishing in this summer because last summer Jason and I pretty much just focused on the bass fishing out of it and pretty much the main point of me getting this boat was to broaden my horizons bass fishing. I mean, I'm sorry, to get more into saltwater fishing. So that's what I'm going to focus on this summer. Now that spring is upon us, 